Okay, this is uh, the prototype cutter that was brought to me. And it's got an angle here about 22 degrees. And uh, of course, this is just a bit below center to make a D cutter out of it. I'll get it up there. And uh, yeah, here's the end cut for clearance. Then it's also, if you can see it, it's got a little cut along that edge there that gives it a nice uh, chisel edge there that's uh, supported. You can see it right there. Catch the light. So I'm going to put that in to the last of these cutters that I'm doing. And it goes in a lot like this. I get, get that one out. I've been working on this off and on, doing some other things. Let's see, let's get that out of there. I'll rotate it all the way around. It is really slick, freezing rain out there. <laughs> I think I'm going to try to hang inside here for a while. Until it warms up or something. You yeah, see, I got it on that. Okay, we'll put that on this one, the last one. And it goes in a lot like this. And I'm using just the edge of this cup wheel here. I took and just slightly dressed it. It's just a tiny, tiny cut and it won't explode the wheel. Of course, you have to be very careful of cup wheels. And I am, and I know where I am with this, um, um, I, I guess, location travel dial type, um, a veneer type travel dial. <laughs> okay, let's get up there and look. Look at that. And I'll make that, I'll make that cut on each side. Okay, here we are. And it's going to jump in the city. Okay. And this is all there is to it. Turn it around. This is not in there. to come up with five cutters here. Okay. It's nice to get something like that done. <laughs> okay, I'm going to be on some other things. So I think I'll head over to Rod to see how he's doing, if I can get out. Okay, bye-bye.